air while leaving in vital minerals other systems filter out. Plus, our systems are salt-free, maintenance-free, and environmentally friendly. During this holiday season, we'll pay your sales tax. Life Source Water. Call 888-884-1819. Taste and feel the difference. Every day, over 100 Americans die from secondhand smoke. Secondhand smoke in children can cause asthma, ear infections, and increased risk of sudden infant death syndrome. Go to smokefreehomesla.com. Learn how you can protect your home from secondhand smoke. Live from the CBS Broadcast Center in Los Angeles, this is CBS 2 News at 11 a.m. Now at 11, let's look live at LAX. Holiday travel traffic is picking up with just two days to go before Thanksgiving. It is a little better than this morning, though, I'll say that. Welcome back to CBS 2 News at 11 and streaming on CBS in LA. I'm Suzanne Marquez. The calm before the storm appears to be over. People are starting to pack the airport. CBS 2's Tina Patel has been in the thick of it all day. Tina, today is supposed to be one of the busiest as well. Tina. Yes, that's right, Suzanne. It is not quite as busy as it was during the holidays pre-pandemic, but it is a lot busier than it has been here at the airport, which is why passengers are being asked to plan ahead and get here early. Andy Miramontes is heading to Cancun to spend Thanksgiving with his extended family. It's been a while since they've seen each other. Actually, about three years. So with the pandemic, uh, it's kind of a little bit hard, but we're all getting together. We're all vaccinated and we're gonna have a good time. But his family did have some doubts about traveling right now. Yeah, I'll be honest, with you, it was stressful. Um, driving here, worried about time. We're not too sure if it's gonna be crowded or not. LAX has been busier this week than it has been all year. About 2 million people are expected to pass through the airport over the holiday period, double the amount from last year. TSA increased its staffing, and so far they've been able to handle the load. Over the last few days, our longest wait time has been 17 minutes at any check point in the airport. We try to keep it under 20. I know no one likes to wait. I don't like to wait, but that is a reasonable amount of time to come when you consider you're here on the busiest day of the year. Airport officials are offering these tips to make traveling as easy as possible. Check in online, then arrive early. Pre-book your parking or plan an alternative way of getting to the airport. Make sure you know the COVID requirements at your destination and bring your face mask. The airport is going to be busy when you show up. You're going to see lots of folks. So the more you can prepare before you get here, the easier the experience will be. And this is the United Terminal. They have a few new features on their app, including agents on demand, which lets you change your seats or change your flight without having to stand in line here at the airport. They also have a travel ready center where you can schedule a COVID test, upload your results, upload your vaccination records all in one place. And Suzanne, there's actually a pilot program during the holiday season where you can pre-reserve a spot in the TSA checkout line. They're hoping that will make it easier for passengers to get through here quicker. Oh, that's a great idea. Anything you can do before you arrive, Tina. Thank you. Retail bandits strike again. This time they targeted a Nordstrom at the Grove. Police say the rise in these types of crimes is a concern across the state. And our Cara Finstrom is live in the Fairfax district with what they've been done to stop all this stealing. Cara, good morning. Good morning. LAPD Police Chief Michael Moore just said that about $15,000 worth of damage, Suzanne, was done to this Nordstrom's. That window that's all boarded up right now, it was shattered completely. Uh, and there was also about $5,000 worth of merchandise stolen. We spoke with locals here th this morning who say these types of smash and grabs are frightening and frustrating. It's not cheap to live in this city and to worry for your safety, you know, something that's five blocks away from where I sleep is uh, pretty, pretty stressful. Peter Getty is talking about last night's smash and grab.